Hello friends, welcome to our next video. So today I'm going to talk to you about how to calculate discount rate or how to calculate discount rate for NTV. We're going to talk about what is discount rate, why is discount rate used, and towards the end stay tuned because I'm going to talk to you about what is the biggest issue with the discount rates. And then I'm going to cover a couple examples here in the bottom that you're going to help you understand better. So let's get started. So a discount rate is the rate of return used to discount future cash flows back to their present value. So as we know, $1,000 today is not going to be worth $1,000, let's say five years from now or 10 years from now, because the interest rate goes high, the cost of goods are high. So $1,000 today might be worth $800 or $900 in the future, right? So we're going to figure out how to calculate the present value based on the future value and the discount rate. So why is the discount rate used? So there are multiple reasons discount rate is used. One is to understand time value of the money, which is NPV, net present value, of course. Then is understand the riskiness of an investment. So if the investment is less risky, you're able to get away with like a lower discount rate versus if the investment is a lot risky, then people will ask for higher interest rate or higher discount rates to kind of cover their riskiness of the investment. Then is also an opportunity cost. Because if you have, let's say you have five investments and if you're invested in investment number one, then your money is tied in that investment, which means you're not able to invest into investment opportunity number two, three, four, and five. So there's an opportunity cost involved with it. And last, which is the most important, is allows you to compare different investments. So one through five different investments based on different future values, different present values, different discount rates. So you can make a smart decision that where do you fit in and how much risk you're willing to take. So let's say for this example, let's say the discount rate is 10%. Let's keep it simple. And let's say you're starting today and then this is year number one, this is year number two, and let's do five years. I think that keeps things pretty clean. So let's say you're starting today with $10,000, right? How much your money is going to be worth a year from today? So let's say start today is January 1st, 2023 at 10% discount rate by the end of this year, which will be December 31st, 2023, how much your money should be worth. The way you calculate that is you take this amount multiplied by one plus the discount rate that is being offered. So by December 31st, 2023, one year time, for $10,000, the 10% 10 will grow to $11,000. So how much is gonna be in year number two, three, four, and five, which is pretty easy to do. So we're just going to drag the bar here. So all the way to year number five. So by fifth year at 10%, your money should be worth $16,105, which is great, right? So this is typically how the banks work. They give you the, disc the interest rate, discount rate you wanna see where it is. But the interesting part is, let's say somebody offers you that, hey, this is a great investment coming through. And by year number five, you'll be able to make $100,000. How much are you willing to invest today? Or how much are you willing to put in at how much discount rate would you be needing to feel comfortable to, hum, to, to so you can see how much money you want to put in today. So let's say somebody says you hundred thousand dollars here, right? So we're going to do the discount rate here. We'll just use the same example for now, and then we can play around with it. So if you want to track back what the net present value or the starting value of the money should be at ten percent, if you're going to make hundred thousand dollars here, the math is pretty simple. You go to equals two. Since we're backtracking, you we'll take this number. So in the previous case, we multiplied. In this case, we'll divide. And then you do one plus the discount rate here, parentheses, and boom. So at 10%, by year number four, it, of course, it's going to be valued less. It will be $90,000. So how much will it be if you track back all the way through to net to your starting point? So let's fix the discount rate here. And all we do is we kind of roll it back, which means you should be okay spending $62,092 a 10% discount rate, so then you will get $100,000 by the end of year five. So now let's say the investment is a lot more riskier. So the company's building investment is in a shopping complex that is being built in a new town that is under development. And they say, hey, if you put in at year five, you'll be able to get $100,000, but it's a risky investment. How much are you willing to invest in it today? So you could be like, hey, since it's a risky investment, I need at least 30% discount rate because I'm not ready to take that much amount of risk and I'm not ready to put in that much amount of money as my starting point. So if you do 30%, how much money you should be okay spending here and a starting point? 
is $26,000. So since a risky investment, you're willing to put in less amount of money at higher interest rate. But if the same investment is a lot safer investment, then you can probably get away with offering, the companies can get away with offering less discount rates. So usually they will offer like let's say 5%. But that would mean since it's a safer investment, you will have to put in more amount of money. So at 5%, you will have to put in at least $78,352 to get $100,000 in by the end of year five. So this is a great way as we talked about, you can compare different investments. So you can look at the discount rate offered, how much you tend to make in certain years of time. And typically it's like five to 10 years investments. And you can backtrack and see how much money you're willing to put in based on the riskiness and the discount rate offered by a particular company. So another great way, another great example or scenario here is, you know, sometimes people buy lottery tickets and what lottery tickets offer you two choices. They're like, hey, either we can give you a certain amount of money year after year for next five, 10, 15, 20 years, or either we can give you a lump sum. Which one would you be willing to take, right? So discount rate is a great way to calculate that. So let's say lottery ticket, say you say, hey, I'll give you a thousand dollars every year for next five years. How much is that money worth to you today? Or if I offer you, let's say they offer you today, like I will offer you $4,000 today. Would you take four grand today or would you like to have $1,000 every year by the end of, for next five years? Because if you look at the sum of these money for that you're gonna get, this is actually five grand, right? So would you take $4,000 today or would you get the total sum of $5,000? So the way to calculate that is you look at the net present value. So let's say for this case also, the discount rate is 10%. So we're just gonna keeping things simple. So what the net present value is gonna look like. So net present value is gonna be NPV times the discount rate, comma, and then what is the payment you're gonna get for next five years? And you click and enter. So at 10% discount rate, the net present value for if you're getting thousand dollars for the next five years the net present value is only worth thirty seven hundred ninety one dollars so if somebody offered you hey would you take four grand today versus thousand dollars you're like absolutely i'll take four thousand dollars today versus getting a total of five thousand for the next five years because the net present value at ten percent is only thirty seven hundred versus you getting four grand so this is a great way to look at like how much scenarios can work so as you can see these are three different examples that you can actually use in discount rate so what is the biggest issue with discount rate because biggest issue with discount rate is, is this is our best guess right because there are a lot of things that can happen that are out of your control so like interest rate could spike up really high that could tighten the money inflation could go really high the cost of goods can go increase increase pretty high so the, all those things can affect how the future value is going to change but what you're doing over here is Based on the information you have today, this is the best calculations you're doing so you can make an intelligent decision on which investment you want to put it in, how much money you want to take in today versus getting the same amount of money you've distributed over a certain period of time. Thank you very much.